Hey guys, Angus from Spotted Hog Airsoft here today with a video type that I actually haven't done in a while, but decided I'd start it up again seeing as how I have a lot of viewers who for some reason really want to see it and it's requested quite often. Today's video is supposed to be an unboxing style video, of course, you technically can't call it that because then I've already taken the stuff out of the packaging. Uh, the reason I've done that is simply to save time and also allow us just to get straight down to the meat of the, meat of the potato, so to speak, uh, actually look at the products instead of you guys watching me unbox a bunch of plastic for couple minutes there. Anyway, today's unboxing is going to be of some products announced to be by airsoftstation.com. Obviously, there'll be links down below in the description so you can check out these products on their site after you watch the video or during, whichever you prefer. We'll, and we'll also have full video reviews of these items up in a few days or so, so be sure to look forward to those. Anyway, getting right into the products that were sent out to me here, let's start off with the one that is more so less interesting to me in all honesty, uh, basically because it's just an M4 and I've seen quite a few of those uh, in my past videos as you might have noticed. Now this particular gun here would be G&G Armaments CM18 Mod 1 M4 Airsoft AEG. Obviously with the CM there you can tell it's part of their combat machine line which is G&G's sport line line of AEGs. You get a full plastic construction here with some metal parts, not to say it's entirely constructed of plastic. Uh, initial impressions, it feels pretty solid. I especially like the CMs because they're very light and maneuverable and as someone who likes to be more action oriented on the field I do enjoy that quite a bit. Basic features you find on some uh, standard M4s, such as your adjustable crane stock back here. Not necessarily a crane stock, more an LE stock. Pardon me there. You do have flip-up iron sights. You'll notice you get a full RAS handguard. These rail covers are actually included with the AEG. And down below you do get a tan mid-cap magazine that comes with the M4 as well. Basic fire modes. you got your safe semi and full auto. And overall it just feels like your basic M4 with a rather nice external touch. One thing I don't like about it right away is the very gold tan pieces on it. A little bit gaudy, a little bit too flashy for me when I'm trying to have a dark earth style AEG. But this will run even $190 if you are interested. Video review coming up in a few days. And overall, initial impression is that it feels pretty solid. Just kind of tired of M4s personally. Setting that one aside, we come to the AEG that I really don't do many reviews of uh, this particular style on my channel, and that'll be an MP5. I thought that was kind of funny that I really haven't handled one of these in maybe a year or so. Anyway, this is the Heckler & Koch Umarex Licensed VFC MP5 A5 Airsoft AEG. Now this is pretty cool, and the first thing I, my initial impression was, this thing's got some weight to it. It's actually pretty darn hefty, and I was surprised when I pulled it out of the box. For a little gun, this thing's actually pretty hefty. It obviously does have the classical stock that you can extend outward like so. It does include a high capacity magazine. You got your standard MP5 style iron sights as well as charging handle. But what's neat about this is you actually have an extra fire mode. You've got your safe, your semi, your full auto. But you also have a three round burst mode that you can use for this AEG, which I just thought was plain cool. Overall, initial impression is it feels rather solid. This is the AEG I'm definitely more excited about because I haven't handled MP5 in quite some time. So I'm looking forward to getting into the review of this particular AEG. You guys will obviously be seeing this one, which will run you about $320 on Airsoft Station in a couple of days uh, coming up here. So with that being said, this has just been a brief teaser of the VFC MP5 A5 AEG as well as the G&G Armament Combat Machine 18 Mod 1 M4 Airsoft AEG. Let me know if you like this video. I will certainly continue more if you enjoy them. And with that being said, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.